by the beautiful, the vivacious, the talented, mm -hmm. Jessica mm -hmm. Lanny. Right? <laughs> she is such a brilliant actress. I've had the privilege of working, you know, a, with her. Um, there was a scene that we did in a new movie that we just did uh, recently. And Jessica scared me. She was so frightening. <laughs> She was supposed to play like a mean yeah, person. I know, right? And when she just gave me that look, <laughs> well, I said, excited I said, eyes. Just, you know? <laughs> we are just acting. We are just acting. It's okay. But oh, that is how goodness. fantastic you are. Welcome to the Thank show. Thank you so much. And I must say, you are an amazing actor. Oh, no, honestly. <laughs> Stop it. Before we started working together, yeah. I was like, mm. they said, seek out your acting with Sika. I was like, okay, that's impressive. Because I've been admiring you from afar. No two ways about it. Not because of this show, not because of anything. Yeah. Mm. But I've always said that. No, trust me, you're good. Has the, you check, have... has the check cleared? It has cleared. <laughs> <laughs> it has, I'll send you more money. You've been giving me fans. You've been giving me fans. Welcome to the show. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Thank it's you. just recently mm -hmm. that I have found out that not only are you an actress, an entrepreneur, you know, an influencer, but you're also a boudoir model. Oh, it sounds lovely. I know. <laughs> boudoir. That's not something we hear, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. around the yeah, parts yeah. of the world. Yeah. Do you want to give us a little, you know, insight mm -hmm. as to what exactly yeah. that is? So basically, I've had interviews from different TV stations. Mm. And it's hard for me to hit on this topic because I started modeling when I was 13. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Exipo first, and then I started doing a little bit here and there. But um, I started doing bikini, mm -hmm. which I know a lot of people frown upon, you know? <laughs> <laughs> especially my parents. I mean, they really didn't know what I was going to do mm -hmm. yeah. until um, the whole boudoir thing came out. I mean, it's different from bikini, this is different yeah. from boudoir. Mm -hmm. So this is me filming in Nigeria. <clears throat> and the first boudoir shoot I had was supposed to be displayed, um, displayed in London in one of the galleries. And I don't know how someone got it here. It was all over social media. People were all over the place. Oh so I think someone screenshot it and sent it to my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, for people who don't know what boudoir <laughs> means, um, it's about, it's when a model shows a lot of skin. Mm -hmm. So I just don't do bikini, but we target, let's say, we show a lot of skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so lingerie. Yeah. Lingerie, exactly. Okay. So any artistic thing, that concerns a woman and mm -hmm. the body. Yes. Yeah. And is so it just an expression exactly. of, yeah. you know, confidence, Absolutely. of beauty, being yeah. one with body, yeah. Yeah. you know? Absolutely. So people shouldn't take their minds too far. Too far, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, let me ask you this. Of course, you're an actress. You've been in the limelight for years now. How have you, I guess, kept your balance mm. and made sure that you stay true to who you are without maybe getting caught up in the whole system? Mm. Well, um, I must say, I'm just grateful to God because it's not been easy. Um, when I was growing up, I said I was going to be a flight attendant. And looking at the thing, I even went to um, Qatar Airways for a while, um, trying to get into the whole process, but I just opted out because I had to write some exams. Mm. So fast forward, I actually dreamt of, right after Miss Universe Ghana, I dreamt of doing this. Mm. acting thing and funny enough it wasn't really going too well so I just backed off for a while yeah. mm -hmm. and then the first person that got me into the movie industry was my uncle Lawrence Tetter he took me held my hands and said let's go to Smarties so um thank you so much Selassie Ibrahim to giving me my <laughs> first <laughs> ever yeah. row in shackles mm -hmm. I think I did it with Jackie Apia one time but all the time that I actually was acting mm. I kept so much mm. um, f focus and my mind was okay this is what I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, am I going to do this forever and trust me I got into the corporate entity uh, I could run away from work and go and act and yeah. come back to mm -hmm. the balance wasn't all that yeah so I was like no let me just get out and then do what I have to do you know you, I, I'm not really good when it comes to multitasking. Mm. it's really hard for me really Until, but you're doing all, but of you yeah. you're doing all of these things exactly exactly and it took me time. Mm. I mean, from the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing. Because I'm, someone told me, you know what, just stop this, do this. I was like, no, let me. So it took me time, process to 
learn and watch a lot of things of how people are doing stuff, how people are doing that. And that has what that, that's what has got me here. And mm -hmm. it's it's funny how um I didn't think that all these years was gonna pay because you know the movie industry mm -hmm. it's not all that. Even though I've I've shot in Tanzania, in uh, Nigeria here and there, I felt that you know what, I can't do this for a living. Mm. Mm. That's why I decided to be an interpreter. I'm actually a certified chiropractor. So would you say acting is your main job? Yeah. Yes. Now it's acting and presenting because I don't do presenting here. I go to the UK thanks to Alodia. I mean, he's the one managing me and trying to make sure I get mm. gigs in the UK. Mm -hmm. So he's actually helping okay. my presenting brand now. Yeah. So basically, awesome. yeah. What's your, so, favorite, what's your favorite part of acting? Favorite part? Something challenging, which I haven't done yet. Okay. Um, maybe I have to lose a couple of pounds to probably... <laughs> Why? Um, Why? Do, no, because I've, I wasn't like this back then. You know, I was really As skinny. In, I, I wish you guys have a picture that. I was <laughs> really skinny. And we dropped my TBT. I, <laughs> I must gone into the military because I was such a tomboy. When I tell people they don't understand, they never see... People that I went to school back in the day, they see me and go like... Look at Just look at Lani. Is that you? <laughs> like, yeah. I've grown so... And I stopped modeling because my hips protruded. Mm. Do you just feel that the Ghanaian society is just too judgmental, that they don't understand the art of Boudoir? Because, guys, it is an yeah, art. It, it, it is. is an art, yeah. It is. You know? Absolutely. Because I'm sure, I mean, you should have told us what your mum said when she saw the picture. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't even finish that story. Mm. So, fast forward, I was in Nigeria filming, and mm -hmm. someone screenshot the whole Boudoir. This is like me showing a lot of skin, not completely naked, but. Please, what so, is a lot of skin? You know, like a bra, bra and, a, exactly. and then everything else is for the gods. Exactly. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. So she called me and she was in tears. Oh, no. She was like, no, I'm in this I want to I'm about so much. And I was like, so Kofi noticed, Kofi Adjolulu, I was shooting with him at that time. Yeah. He noticed I was so distracted because I wasn't really much in my oh. lines. And he was like, do you want me to talk to her? I was like, you know what? I know her. I know her type. She's, she'll come down, relax. Mm -hmm. So... I, I don't think Ghanaians are ready for that kind of um, part when it comes to the <coughs> entertainment industry, when it comes to modeling. Ghanaians are still judgmental about it. I mean, now it's better than before. Mm. Thank you. You know, they will like to do it <laughs> indoors. For yes. me, I, I mean, I have a nice party, no two ways about it, so I might as well just do what I have to do. Sorry. Mm -hmm. mm. So I, I just felt that, okay, let me just use mm. what I have. And then make it more artistic. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, make a couple of bucks. I love that. When, please, can you ask what the couple of bucks is? So the couple. The, so yeah. Sikasa, I should ask right. what the couple of bucks. <laughs> Money. Is. Yeah. No, but I, like, I, like a couple. Like, are, are we value? Like a, millions of dollars. Like, are we Lamborghini about, money. Like, are we buying a Bentley? Like, what's going on? Like, is, enough. Is it even into cars like yeah, that? But is it is it lucrative? No, like, for the, when I do the boudoir, the first time I did it. It was, it, was good. Good. it was good. It was good. <laughs> it really helped a lot. Funny enough, it's not coming like before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because when they're doing it, they put themselves into it and they give you the money and you're, you're good to go. Mm. But because I'm doing the acting, when they call me, it's hard for me to fly mm. back. Yeah. Oh. So now I'm hoping that the jobs will come. But I still have to lose a little bit of weight to get there. So is that what they've asked you to do? No, but I feel, it's a personal you feel yeah, it's a that personal you need feel, to. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, talking about the entertainment industry and the fact that you are now a presenter, what do you think is that thing that we can do to yeah. improve the whole Ghanaian television space? Mm -hmm. I was really shy when it comes to doing your job, <laughs> honestly. And I had to go on and on, do mistakes, you know, make mistakes here and there. Mm. And I have a TV show called Thank Someone Show. Okay. With that, what? thank someone show. Okay. So what we do is, um, we go around like in, on the streets mm -hmm. and then look for people that want to say thank you to someone important oh, in their oh, lives. That's, that's so we travel from here to Hall, from here to mm. Akosombo, trying to surprise the people. There was one particular episode that I had with uh, my partner that um, I actually did the whole production with. Um, we got someone on the street that wanted to thank the grandfather. Mm -hmm. I think he hasn't seen the grandfather over five years now. Mm. So when we got there, I think the grandfather had a stroke. And the room, we, we went all the way to Ochokbulu or something, very far place. Mm -hmm. When we got there, the grandfather had a stroke. Oh. Right when you got right there? When we, yeah. When we got there, he was sick. And it's crazy. He did, couldn't even recognize that. 
<laughs> the, the guy and Aww. it's rather unfortunate the following day he passed Aww. so it looks like he was waiting for yeah, that, for that, that time. and it's, it's it's quite emotional but i'm trying so hard to put it on the market again mm -hmm. because we shot season two and hopefully it would go on and on like yeah. that. It will, yeah. it will. We need yeah, more things like so, you know. Jessica, you know, I've been listening to you talk. I'm hearing yeah. and la -la. <laughs> And you know, I'm hearing all these intonations. Who does the grrr down here? Oh, I'm from I'm from Kumasi. <laughs> so I'm from, I'm from, I'm from <laughs> Kumasi. Even the Kumasi. 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 So I wanted to ask, where have you lived in on this planet? Um, because trust me, I've lived all my life here. I just go and come back. Oh, so no, I, okay. I, for now, I mean, Ghana's home. Mm. You don't want to go stay somewhere or probably for work. Yeah, six months a year, three yeah. years, come back, but not to stay there and saying you you could go and make the money and come back, yeah. isn't it? Of course. But you spend quite a bit of time in London. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is the most difficult part of? working in the movie industry in Ghana. What's the, the most, most difficult difficult part. difficult part? Yes. I mean, apart from obviously the judgmental yeah. attitude, mm -hmm. like if you were to do a sex scene, yeah. they would say, hey. <laughs> but in Hollywood, they'd be watching their Netflix. Exactly. And they don't you know, it's a double standard. It's so like a very that. double standard. But what would you personally say has been the toughest? My main focus and problem in this industry it's money. Mm. People know I like money. <laughs> if you don't have money, don't call me. That's it. <laughs> if you don't have money, don't call me. <laughs> money doesn't pay my bills. I do everything for myself. Mm -hmm. Money doesn't pay my bills. So uh, if I know a particular producer and I say, and the person goes like, oh, Jessica, I want you to film for me. The first thing I ask is, oh, let me see the script. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read it. If it talks to me, mm -hmm. I do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then I say, I, I sometimes don't even mention my money, yeah. like how much I'm offering. Mm. I go like, what's your budget? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me know. That's if you're friends. Mm -hmm. So you mention your budget, I go like, oh, it's, come on. It's, it's too small. It's so, mm -hmm. if I, uh, mm -hmm. just give me like Add some. a little bit something. on the high side, like <laughs> yeah. give me something on the high side. I'm expecting you to be logic enough, reasonable enough mm. to give me half of the money mm -hmm. the Before. moment I get on set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm done, you give me the rest of it. I, sometimes I could shoot over a year. And you haven't been paid. And I haven't been paid. Standard. No, yeah. absolutely. Like, Standard. And I'm very reasonable when it comes to charging. That, that so, is going to be yeah. our motto for yeah. Lady Circle. If you don't, have money, money. you don't have money, don't, don't call, call us. OK. <laughs> Please. We I, absolutely <laughs> love it. OK, so let's go on to another topic, yeah. which I think is very apt for us to be speaking about mm. now, which is the burst of reality TV shows. Mm -hmm. right. Now, everywhere you look, there's one reality TV mm -hmm. show right. or another. Um, I can state Big Brother Niger that has taken over the yeah. world recently. We had young African and famous. famous. That seems to be on everybody's lips talking about that. But the most important one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me not get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Perfect match extra. Woo. PMX, which is on our favorite channel, TV3, which is where we are now, has also just been getting a lot of buzz. People are talking about the couples and are really getting into it. Mm. Where has this rise of reality shows come from? Would you ever be in a reality show, Jessica? Right when they were having the Big Brother Africa. Mm -hmm. um, I was there. I, I was there you for Guinness audition oh. I noticed they were doing the audition there honestly speaking I'm not good when it comes to auditions funny enough all the movies I've done was based on recommendations from mm. the beginning to the end yeah. maybe just bits and pieces of productions that I actually go for auditions yeah mm -hmm. but it's really hard for me so I don't think for now I don't think I'll if the money's good you know yeah why not well, yeah if the money's good why not I'll consider going to a reality show but I, I want to know the in and out of it. But you first. know the thing about reality yeah. shows as well is most times you are not in charge of the narrative. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly. So they can decide to, to judge you, you any, in any way you. as mm -hmm. long as exactly. it's beneficial to the production. Yeah. Exactly. And then it brings the views. So mm -hmm. if you're willing to put your brand in the hands in of there, other yeah. people. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Because it it's, does create stars. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what about it? What, what do we think it is about reality shows that, you know, attracts people so much? Because if you ask, like, quite a number of people today, they don't mind, you know, pop it in there once in a while and all <laughs> that. But 
like what is it about reality shows that has just got people recently honestly because of my work i don't even have time to watch all these reality shows i just hear of it i hear recently is what i heard with the fatana and uh, yeah, 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 honestly, yeah i really yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. what's going on like i'm not even in ghana <laughs> right now <laughs> but so far I, when they talk about it i just go peep a little bit mm -hmm. and watch but i think it's getting people to really really talk one thing i always did used to find interesting and that's why i'm so happy we have perfect match extra now is that even in my own auntie's house you know she will be watching big brother niger yeah you know all of this but I'm, if i'm like oh auntie let's go and do some me and my cousins so go forbid like you know <laughs> we don't go and, you know we don't yeah. do that like you know everything we'll keep it in the house like yeah. we don't want to expose ourselves mm -hmm. but i think it does come down to that conservative nature of Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're happy to watch others. But if yeah. it's us, mm, yeah. mm. but now, you know, if you're willing to be we're willing light. to do it more. <laughs> yes. well, and people are leveraging the opportunities more. I think, you know, in the past, of course, it was we want to be a singer, we want to be an actress. And, of course, you still have that. But they're also seeing, you know, the reality TV as either a faster way to get there or another way to get people to buy into who they are, exactly. their yes, brand, and then, you know, their put brand. their talent yeah. on but a platform. Don't you, but don't you then think, Natalie, that the TV shows are creating um, personalities that are famous for really just being, being alive? Famous. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you are going there to cash a check. But just oh. be famous. So my question is, usually, if you notice, because these reality TVs have a cycle, mm -hmm. for one cycle, you might be hot. Yeah. yeah. People may know your name. Trust me. Mm -hmm. As soon as the next badge comes, you're off. nobody knows you. Exactly. Yeah. Unless you're able to branch into exactly. something which the gives you a bit more longevity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you count or even mention the, some of the first people from... No. Maybe you can. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You can, but it's just this quick... Let's get famous now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that's going to bring mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Some people do it without a plan. We've spoken yeah, about exactly. that. Mm -hmm. And then it just ends up being nothing. Yeah. That's why you have to use the Cardi B logic. What's the Cardi B <laughs> the logic? The Cardi B logic is, if you look at her, it was always my music, my music. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'll give you a bit of drama, Make but sure, it's back to yeah. my music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think Make a lot sure of people... Putting yourself out there. Exactly. A lot of people get lost in the source of, oh, I'm hot right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, my actual talent can take a back seat because right now yeah. I'm booked and busy. Next season, you will not be booked yeah. and busy. True. So True. <laughs> use the platform. But eventually, I think people are also trying to see that, okay, that's actually like a good avenue mm -hmm. to market whatever I, I have in there. Because we've seen a lot of people come on Big Brother and say, okay, yes, I have... You know, I'm, I'm here for my music. And so they push the music, push, push, push. And in Name the end, it's good. one musician who pushed their music on Big Brother that we know right now that's making waves. Well, you might not know them, but I know Lake On. Yeah, okay. but it's, exactly. it's, it's, it's not pushing. It's, it's not, not really No, but I'm saying it's a good yeah. step. It's, it's a really, stepping stone. It's not really moving. Whatever the me I feel like whatever the media gives you is a stepping stone. You need to, you need to push mm -hmm. after. We're here today. People know us for the ladies' circle. Mm. As I said, said ladies' circle, what are you going to do? What are you using the platform that you have here to do? I mean, you're so, doing movies now. Exactly. <laughs> so you have to do other things that's going to make people see that, okay, you're not just the pretty face on the exactly. ladies' circle. Mm. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. So it gives you a very good platform, but you need to build yourself. We're taking Basically. Natalie to Perfect Match next season. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Why? Why, why are you? Who are you? Sika really wants me to marry, actually. I don't know why. Uh, it's the love. You never know who's you watching. Know. Yeah, okay, you so never know. Dear husband, you're gonna meet dear husband, husband. Watch watching. extra. Oh, Natalie, season two. <laughs> I know people who will literally abandon their better half to do <laughs> reality shows. Oh come on. Yeah. I mean, it's true. It is. And you the know, fact that it's a twenty-four time. hour, you want to know everything that happened at every mm. single point. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of the night, you want to know what happened because that's when the fights happen. Very early in the morning, you want to be sure if they wake up on the right wow, side. Quite so invested. It's like, <laughs> yes, it's, it's taking like every invested. single part, and it's not, it's not supposed to be. I feel mm. like there should be a balance, you know. Well, I think I mean the whole purpose of the show is for people to find love, mm -hmm. you know. So I hope they do go there and find some true love, so we can have some yeah. perfect match, extra it's weddings, exactly, and, and, babies and things like that. But you know, speaking of love, how's love treating you? Not bad. Oh, We're there. okay. Just because <laughs> everything has been not bad. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I'm privileged, yeah. so I, I can't say it's, it's bad, mm. I, even though the economy is hard when I said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. We're still, once you have the job, I think you, once you have work, you could get everything going. Mm. You know, That's so. Diplomatic answers. Yeah, very yeah, diplomatic. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. I knew you were going to say it. Honestly. <laughs> very diplomatic answers. It's Lady Circle.